let's go to our item.swift file and here we have all the functions uh, relating to our item so I'm going to put these Algolia save things here as well so let's go all the way down put a mark here and I'm going to call this Algolia Funks and we're going to have two uh, two functions here the first one is going to save items to Algolia and the other one is going to search in Algolia so let's call the first one and we are going to give the item here which is a type item and this doesn't return anything so um, in order to save something in our Algolia we need to get the index so we say let index which is uh, like in Firebase we have this uh, file location the same thing with Algolia we just want to know where to save it so our index will be our Algolia service shared and index because we have already created this and now in order to save something to Algolia we are going to uh, convert it into a dictionary the same way we are doing for our uh, Firestore we convert it to dictionary we are going to do it for our Algolia as well so we have key value pairs and that our users can uh, search this code so um, let's say uh, let item to save is equals to item dictionary from item and we can pass our item here and then I just need to specify that this is a string and any so now that we have our item dictionary uh, we are going to access our index that we just created and then we are going to simply say add object and we are going to pass our object here you have other options like you can add uh, multiple objects at the same time this would be useful if you already have your uh, items uh, your application ready and you just want to put them everything in uh, fire uh, from firebase to algolia you can use this as well but in my case I'm going to just say uh, we're going to add this object but uh, we need the one uh, which has with ID and request option so let's see request request uh, with I think it's this one yes so the object is going to be our item to save with ID so the ID of our Algolia item should match with our uh, Firestore item ID because we want to use this ID in order to then uh, find this item in our Firestore so uh, now that we are creating this item let's go just to my uh, radio application here you can see this object ID thing and it's like in bold because this is uh, the main uh, indexing point so we are setting the ID to be our item dot ID and request option is going to be nil and completion I'm just going to hit enter and we are going to receive two things here uh, the content that we uh, saved and then we have an error in case if there is an error so we are going to check if there was an error in our call pack so say if error is not equals to nil it means we have an error I'm going to say print and let's say error saving to Algolia and I can pass my error unwrap this and say localized description if there was no error else I'm going to say uh, print 
just for us to know what happened we say add it to Algolia so this is our save function and now every time we create a item we want also to save it in Algolia so let's go to our add item view controller and I need to find the function that saves to Firebase so whenever we are saving to Firebase here we say save item to Firebase and after this we want to say save item to Algolia as well and we just pass the same item to our function so what I'm going to do is run my application and I'm going to try to save something uh, to my Algolia so let's go to our application here go to includes right now we have nothing and also in my firestore let's uh, do this just select all the items delete the collection items and click delete I just want to make a fresh start so whatever we create now is going to be something new so let's go to our hobbies and I'm going to create new bike price 200 description uh, this is new mountain bike right uh, let's grab some kind of photos so we have I'll just choose the waterfall and let's click done this will take a few seconds to upload and save our item this takes quite some time so let's see what's wrong here it says error uploading image user does not have permission ah that's why it stops here so uh, let's let's just go back I just remembered when we had our hosting uh, sorry our storage remember in our rules what we did is we said that user can upload something if he's uh, not logged in and now our user is logged in and we need to change our uh, security rules here so I'm going to check that uh, we can read and write only if our user is uh, authentication is not null so we publish this and let me just check the database as well okay so the thing is same situation here so we can uh, copy our code from here and we are going to put it here and publish so if I uh, just go and rerun my code So we, up, uh, we saved our item in our Firebase. This is the result of it. Let me just check if in Algolia it was saved. So first go to our database and make sure the item is here. We check the ID number as well. Then we go to our Algolia and let me just refresh here. And we have a new item here and you can see the object ID is exactly the same as in our Firestore then we have our name as bike 
and it says a description this is a new mountain bike and now the tasks uh, four out of four is completed because we just created our first item so our algolia item is created and our uh, firebase item is created as well so now they are in uh, synchronization whenever we create one we create the other one as well 